Welcome to the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency video news podcast, bringing you the latest stories from around the UK's coasts. This month, we look at how dangerous goods are carried to and from the United Kingdom. Each day, thousands of passengers and trucks travel on ferries into and out of UK ports. It's the job of all maritime administrations to ensure that all those movements happen safely. The problem we have is that as a ship we are an isolated unit at sea, uh, totally on our own virtually. Um, and anything and everything that happens we have to deal with ourselves. Uh, and, and with dangerous goods, uh, if we have an incident involving a vehicle with dangerous goods, uh, for instance a fire is, is the obvious uh, a major incident, uh, we need to deal with it. Our basic firefighting medium is water. Um, there are many substances, dangerous goods, so that if you attack them with water they can cause an immediate quite a severe explosion which obviously puts the whole ship in danger, passengers, crew and everybody else. Uh, we have to think about that. Um, if we don't know they're there and there is a fire either in that vehicle or in an adjacent vehicle, we have, this, we have the problem. Uh, so we have to know they're there and we have to know exactly what it is. Uh, there are systems in place to deal with that and anyone who, who tries to bypass the system is, is causing a serious problem and could cause a serious disaster really. Uh, that's, that's why it's so important that we know exactly what is in these vehicles. Vehicles must be stowed and secured by competent people who are aware of the most severe weather conditions likely to be faced during the voyage. They do this under international regulations and, of course, with proper planning and under strict supervision. Fire or chemical spillage are potential dangers to the ship, its crew and passengers. International regulations require frequent drills to be carried out on board the vessel, so in the unlikely event of a fire or a contamination incident, the ship's crew and its equipment are able to deal with it and continue working properly. Once the cargo loading operation has been completed, before departure, the vessel must be made seaworthy. And there's an internationally approved safety management system to ensure that this takes place correctly. Okay. Any lock access to the panel. This come to main deck, shell doors and hatches are secure for sea deck department ready to go now. All these measures have been developed by the International Maritime Organization to ensure the safety of everyone travelling on ships around the UK and the goods being transported.